Hey guys, so welcome to this video. Sorry I didn't post yesterday, I wasn't feeling too good. I've been inside most of today. I came back home a little bit early, but I felt like I needed to record a film because um, two days leaving it alone was just too long. Now, today's video is gonna be an interesting one. It is basically why I think having a consulting business or a marketing agency is way better than having something to do with e-com, so Amazon FBA, dropshipping, etc. Now, let's start with number one. So, the main thing, the main thing that separates these types of businesses is the amount of money that you need to invest at the very beginning to actually be able to make it successful. So, with e-com, you either need to put money into ads or into buying a product, so if it's Amazon FBA, you've obviously got to pay for the product, the shipping, etc., then run ads or whatever. Um, with a marketing agency, with a consulting business, you don't have to buy a product, you don't need to run ads to make money. Obviously, you can run ads later down the line, but you can do everything organically and you can be successful doing it organically. And there's no financial risk involved. So with me, when I started, obviously I struggled for quite a while, you probably heard me say this in a few videos, I just, I didn't get results straight away, it took me a really long time, um, I think I calculated it earlier, I think it was like 13 months, um, so just over a year of me, since I started entrepreneurship, since I stopped doing corporate work, went into entrepreneurship, started trying to build a business, at the start I was presented with loads of different options, so I could have gone into Amazon FBA, I was looking into that for a while, um, Amazon FBA, drop shipping, marketing agency, consulting business. I didn't actually know about sort of having a consulting business because I didn't think that I was an expert at anything. Like I, I wasn't confident enough in, in anything to be able to teach it and become a consultant. Um, so these were all the different options. I was actually considering FBA for quite a while and I was figuring out like what I could sell, what, what my product would be. Um, and it just I never really took off. I think I just kind of did like paralysis, um, like analysis paralysis, where you just overthink and plan and never do anything. Um, and then I ended up kind of going towards a marketing agency. And at the time I was broke as like fuck. Like I had no money, I dropped out of the job, nothing like supporting me. So if I'd gone into anything to do with e-com, if that didn't work out for me, if that business failed, I would have been screwed, I wouldn't have had another option, I wouldn't be able to carry on doing it, it would be like, you've got this amount of money to make it work, if you run out then it's kind of done. Um, so that's why with the marketing agency I was able to fail for a long amount of time. Um, I was able, like I had the margins to, to fail and from the failures, from the mistakes, I could then learn like the failure wasn't going to be detrimental to my business because it doesn't matter how many times I failed with it I wasn't losing money I didn't have a set amount or like a little sort of I didn't have margins that I could move between it was like you can carry on trying you're either gonna not have money for longer or make more money quicker those are kind of the two sliding variables um so with the agency it was a lot less pressure um and it wasn't a business which was like a one hit try and then if it goes badly then that's it and then I go back to corporate. So for me, I guess the point of this video was to basically, if, if you're in between it, I'm not saying that e-commerce like sucks, I'm just saying that for something that you want that's low risk, say if you're, you don't have as much money to spend or play around with, going towards a, a type of business, a financial vehicle that doesn't require an investment of, of money, um, either for ads or to purchase a product, then that is going to be a better option for you than going the other way. And having a marketing agency, having a consulting business, it's evergreen. Like it's something that I'm not worried is ever going to stop working. People are always going to need that service. People are always going to need marketing. It doesn't matter how it develops. I know there's always going to be a place for me and I'm always going to have value that I can provide to somebody that's not going to run out. Um, so that's why I personally like kind of feel like I owe marketing agencies and like the concept of being a consultant just because if that hadn't have been there, I know I probably wouldn't have become an entrepreneur or business owner because I would have 
been like squished at the start if I used like the only money that I had. I didn't even have money to put anywhere. I wouldn't have been able to start it up. It would have been like uni, like leftover uni loan that I had would have gone into into starting up a business like that. So yeah, that was like my little rant of the day. I'm not gonna make a really long video because my brain is kind of like foggy right now. Like I don't, I don't feel fully with it. Um, I just feel like I've got a cold and like a bad headache, so I don't want to ramble too much and just say stuff that isn't relevant. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys found this video interesting and you enjoyed the concept. Let me know what you think below and I will see you in tomorrow's video.